Hello and welcome back to The Bold Bavarians. We are 137 gold off becoming a king. That's literally all we need to do. Because if we have a look at this, we need 22 de jure counties, 500 gold, plus two duchies. We currently have one duchy. We can make another duchy, or um, we can assert one. I don't know which one we'd prefer to do. Usurping is quite nice in theory because it then gives us an automatic claim on what we usurp. So if we were to take the Duchy of Tyrol, we'd immediately get an, a de jure claim on the Duchy of Tyrol, which is pretty sweet kind of stuff. So we could potentially do that. So if we were to usurp the Duchy of Tyrol, say, or Nordgal, doesn't really matter which, uh, but let's go, well, I suppose Nordgal is our uh, family, so. There are positives and negatives to um, getting rid of it. I mean, if we were to take it away from them, they would hate us more. But they are family, so they'd be more willing to accept a vassalization offer. I don't know. I think I'm going to take tie rolls, right? So let's take tie rolls. If I usurp that, it costs us 250 gold. We don't want to do this right now, because if we die, what will happen is um, we will have our duchy split in two. And we will be back to square one. So we want to wait till we have 750 gold, usurp it, immediately create the kingdom, and then we're very happy. So, that is 137 gold. That's going to take roughly 14 months, right? With the money we're making. 13 to 14 months. This ultimatum to install a faction on the Bavarian throne is going to trigger in 27 months. As you can see, it's going to trigger after we become a kingdom. This means we don't necessarily need to worry about it, as this guy only has a claim on the Duchy of Bavaria. Now, the faction could still fire, we could still lose the war, however, we would keep the Kingdom of Bavaria. So it all makes a lot of sense. So we're just going to unpause, we're going to be happy. Well, before we unpause, we're actually going to marry off um, this person, my granddaughter and sister-in-law. So this is... Wait, does that really say granddaughter and sister-in-law? That's a weird one. Um, is that because you're married? Yeah, because you're married to this guy. And this guy is um, presumably my brother-in-law somewhere. Or Anyway, there's, there's probably some weird stuff going on down there. We don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, anyway, oh no, it's because this guy was my brother-in-law, so therefore she's my sister-in-law, but that's not really the way it works. Anyway, right, so we need to marry her off. She is going to be our heir eventually, I think. No, wait, she's 37? She looks like 5. Okay, never mind. Uh, so she's actually our second heir down at that level. Okay, uh, although you have children as well. So actually, you're really my... Wait, no, you're my heir's 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 heir. So you're probably the person I'd become eventually. Okay, who, his name is Themo, which is cool. So we don't really ma We're not too worried about who she marries, but we want to marry matrilineally anyway, just in case. That's what I was getting at. Uh, you're my vassal, right? Yeah, and you're already married to a member of my family, so I'd rather if you didn't marry another one. Um, How about you? My son and vassal? So you're probably already married as well. Uh, my son and vassal. How about um, Biagio, uh, or Biagio von Babenberg? Sure. You're going to marry him. Let's try that. Right. On pause. Speed 5. Let's go. Now, we could also get an event that brings in some money, which would be pretty sweet if we got it. We just did, actually. My god, 100 gold for free, and we're at exactly 750. I love it. Okay, so this is my grandson's daughter, Eugenia. Sure, we'll go with that. Right, Lampart can ma or Lampert can marry. He's 16. He's going to marry... He can marry a Von Babenberg as well, I suppose. Or he can marry a uh, Rurikid um, Borsna. Sure, you're going to marry this one. You're going to marry into the Rurikids. Right, we'll wait one month. One month once it takes over. There we go. So now we definitely have the money. Oh, pause. Keep it paused. Right. Now, clear out this. 
we're going to assert Tyrol. So this is now ours. We can now create a new title, the Kingdom of Bravaria. We have exactly what we need for it. Let's do this. You are now a mighty king. Wonderful news. So, what does being a king do for us? Well, one, we get this fancy helmet, uh, hat, crown. Crown's what people would call it if they're normal. Uh, and two, we can now have jukes underneath us. It's pretty sweet stuff. Uh, let's see what our new op things are appeared are. A few knights, we get extra knights for being a king, and we get more va vassals demanding council positions. Okay, we don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, will you accept becoming my vassal? Can I even offer you vassalage? Yes, you can only va offer vassalage if you are a... Actually, maybe I'll wait a month. There we go. Let's see. No, so you must only be able to offer vassalage if you are independent, speaking to another independent. You must not be able to do it within a realm. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, we don't need to worry about any of the rest of that. We can probably start giving away some duchies now. The nice thing is, he wants to get the Duchy of Bavaria. We could give it to him. I'm not going to, but we could. We can also weaken his faction by putting faction members underneath somebody who is loyal to us. So, for instance, this guy right here holds Eschenlo. Wait, who's the biggest member? 16.9, 16, 15, 13, 12. Okay, so he's currently the biggest faction member. And I think the faction leader. So, 16.9% he provides. So he um, is near enough. In fact, I think this might be part of the Duchy of... No, it's the Duchy of Bavaria is still within. But we could make that Tyrol. So I could give, say, this guy right here. Um, I'm going to give you the Duchy of Tyrol. Yeah. Can I demand his conversion? He might accept. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to grant him the Duchy of Tyrol. I'm not going to grant him the county of Innsbruck, because I'm going to keep it. So we'll give him that one. He's now very happy with us, right? Um, demanding conversion still at 19%. I can't send him a gift because I don't have enough, but that's okay. I'm now going to grant him the vassal here. So you are now going to have Count Ruprecht. Wonderful, and he gets 40 opinion on me for that. Now I can demand his conversion. Right, there's a good chance he might accept now. Wonderful. So what that has done is it's removed this guy from the faction. So if we wait a second, yeah, so he's now completely out. We could now potentially give away some more bits of land to people who are in this. So let's see. Um, you could probably also be a member of this. This guy, I'm going to wait just a second or two before doing it. Let's see what he says about our conversion. Uh, oh, right. So he changed, but he then stopped being, um, it stops being a theocracy now. Interesting. I suppose that makes sense that it stops being a theocracy because, well, he changed his religion. It doesn't really make sense for him to be a, a bishop of a different religion now. Okay. I was wondering whether I can drop this guy underneath him as well. Yeah, so Count Gerardo. Let's do that. I'm going to grant him that. This guy's quite a powerful vassal now, but, you know, uh, it gets rid of our problems. And he likes us a lot. So, now in Bavaria, we have Tyrol and we have Bavaria. So that seems fine. That has now removed this faction from being a problem. It should eventually die. Uh, next up, we could potentially put some of these powerful uh, council people on the council. So Tyrol, you are not good at anything, unfortunately, so you can't be on the council. Linz is pretty good at spy mastering. I'm going to put him in the council. I know he doesn't like us right now, but here's the thing. He does like us once we remove a, the minus 40 penalty. Rothenberg, you're good at either Chancellor or Stewardship. Um, you are not a powerful vassal. In fact, you're not a vassal at all. Uh, so I can replace you. Yeah. That sounds good. Wonderful. So now our powerful vassals are no longer hating us, and they were some of the ones in the faction. The faction should be dead. Let's wait for that to happen. I got a Tent of Care. Ooh, a massive health boost. Although it's only disease resistance, that's still pretty sweet. Yeah, we're still poor in health, but that's all right. Okay, okay, we're, we're, we're doing all right. Um, do we get any extra piety for being a king? Probably not, right? No, we probably get extra prestige from holding a kingdom. Yeah, we get extra prestige from holding a kingdom. That makes sense. 
Uh, we also probably get extra renown for holding a kingdom. Yeah, one king. I think the two dukes are also us, but I might be wrong. Um, and the large amount of living members are mostly our family from the last generation. How far away are we from profit? We're about two away. So that's probably our next goal. Um, can I declare war on this guy? I just broke his... I just changed his title, right? So I should just be able to take it? Via the county does your claim? Yeah. Okay, there's no issues. It costs us 40 prestige. Let's declare a war and raise our troops. Yeah. March right over there. It seems pretty easy. We should be able to do this for a couple of places now so that we have a free claim. My daughter Agnes has given birth to a... Um, uh, to a daughter. There we go. We're going to call her Susanna. What do you want? Um... You've decided to make Duke uh, Vittorio of Steermark your vassal. Who? I mean, okay. No problem. This guy's not my vassal. Um, no issues? What's this one? You've decided to make Count Grimold my vassal. Sure. Okay. Look at how much space I've got. Like, of stuff that I've just been given. Wait a second. Oh, Corinthia? She just gave us Corinthia as well? My god, how powerful does she want to make us? We're insane. We're actually just an insane amount of power. We have so much power now. What's going on here? I didn't expect her to just be like, hey, all of this is yours now? Um. Uh, Hema can marry. That's the next thing to worry about, my daughter. Who has many children already. Um, why don't you marry Verona? There you go. That seems fine. We're not really worried about uh, the family line being mixed up there. Okay. Uh, beat him up. You've accepted the marriage proposal. We now have a dangerous faction. Uh, I should probably put them in charge of things. Uh, close that one. You'd like Wolfgang of Nordgal to be my vassal. Uh, sure. That sounds good. Oh, I also now have this land over here. I didn't notice that. That's all Bavaria. Look how much of this land is Bavarian now. It's crazy. Right, uh, what's my powerful faction? To install this guy in charge? No. Uh, how about I put you on my council? You're still a powerful vassal, huh? You do like me quite a lot and you are my friend. I think you'd understand that I'm doing this for good reasons. Yeah, he, he, he understands-ish. Right, who else needs a position? Steermark? You're no longer a powerful vassal. I'm going to fire you and replace you with this guy. You're not going to be best pleased, but that's okay. Um, you're okay at some things, but you're not great. Kempton, you're probably all right as a marshal. Our marshal is pretty powerful, though. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that first and see how we're looking. Right. Back over this way. I'd really like to beat up your army if you just stop for two seconds. There we go. We caught him. Nice. Head over here. Learning perk. Uh, I'm going to take religious icon. Okay. So, uh, the time it takes to convert is no longer increased if that faith has a higher fervor. So we could convert now if we wanted to. Don't really want to. Uh, let's have a look. How are we looking in terms of these things? You still hate me? And I'm losing money. Uh, okay. Well, I need to win this siege. Child of my dynasty? Wolfgang? Sure. Uh, ten months is when it's going to fire. Four months for the siege. Okay. Let's win the siege. They're coming in to fight me. I hate that. I really need to not be low on money. Uh, who is in this one? Can I get anyone out? Yeah. Yeah, you're a count. I could put you under any steer mark. You, you seem to be fine. Yeah. Uh, let's grant you that vassal. Right, that should have killed a little bit of the power. We got some more months out of that. Okay, wait. Cool. 100%? Wonderful. Enforce demands. We have a new vassal. Wonderful. Uh, we can ransom. Wait, we can demand payment from this guy. Tyrol. Of course I'm going to demand some payment because I need to be positive on money. Ransom for 10 gold. Definitely. Nice. Okay, let's close this down and work out what we got. Because we are extremely um, 
more powerful than we were. Nordgal, why do you hate me? You want a couple of counties. Okay, well we can work, we can work through these problems. What do you want? You want this one? That's my son, but yeah, you could have his luck. Yeah, okay. You're gonna have that land. I, I see no issue with this. Yeah, my son is underneath someone else, but at the same time, I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, okay. So you're fine with that. Cool. Oh, let me just check my succession law. Partition. I'm on the right one, right? Yes, not confederate. I'm on partition. That's fine. Hey, every vassal approves me changing the law. I could go to high partition if we get the uh, her heraldry thing. That's kind of cool. Um, we can also pass different crown authority things if we want to. All right, who else? Do, what else do you want? Why, why do you hate me? You want uh, Hohenberg and Luchenberg. Uh, Luchenberg's this one, right? Yeah, okay, you can have them. No issue at all. Right. What else do you want? Uh, you would like Hohenberg, which is this one. Now, that is part of Nuremberg. I want to keep him around because he's very powerful. Yeah, but this guy should like me now because I've now granted him some titles. Yeah, we, we've reached a nice agreement. Okay. So he shouldn't hate me and he shouldn't want this guy in charge anymore. Who are you? Osberg. I could create the uh, Duchy of Osberg, although I can't right now, but... Um, I don't know. Let's see who else we got in here. So you are Gessenhausen, which is, uh, what? That is in Bavaria. Okay. Um, Rothenburg, that's also Bavaria. And then Linz. Linz is not Bavaria. Linz is the jure part of Salzburg, which doesn't exist. However, Tyrol is Salzburg. So you are gonna have Linz. Perfect. Right. So that's weakening this a little bit. We've now just lost a powerful vassal, which means we have space for another one. Uh, anyone currently good at it? No. Although I could put you into that position for just now, because you actually like me. Yeah. How do you feel uh, about being my spy master with seven uh, intrigue? Which isn't great, but... Where's reassign? Wait, no. Not this one. I want to reassign. Well, what's the last guy good at? He's good at Marshall. Yeah, yeah. So I want to reassign this guy into that position. Switch up. It's seven. We're looking for white. Uh, we're lo yeah, we're looking for white car. Um, probably going temporarily blind. There, there we go. We'll reassign. Right. So he's finding his new position. We can now put this guy in. Means we have a worse marshal, but that's okay. Um, I might also put him on organized levies for just now. Just until we're sorted. Yeah, organize some levies for me. That seems fine. Right. Seven months remaining. We have a few people who should probably leave. Let's see how this goes. Just wait a month. My brother Otto died. Okay. We got 10 gold. This is still going out due to our raised armies. Oops. There we go. Now we're making 14 a month again. Six months remaining. I don't want to give these ones away, but I might have to. Yeah, Corinthia being in it's a big problem. And he, he just kind of hates me. I could try and sway him, but it's going to be a while. I could also demand his conversion. Let's demand his conversion. He might leave if we're the right religion. He's, he switched. Okay. So now he hates us less, but he should hopefully leave because this guy's not his religion. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, now he likes us a little bit better. Okay, still five months remaining. Let that tick down. Level of faith went up. Okay. Yes! Corinthia left. Wonderful. So that is the reason they're joining it, is because of religion. They, they, still, they still only want the Duchy of Bavaria, but still. Uh, that's fine. So if I can demand conversion, this is probably what I want to do for all of these guys. Right, let's wait a second for that one. Blessed be. Okay, you. Demand conversion. Let's see what he does. Blessed be. You. Demand conversion. 
Uh, what do you want? A weak hook? Sure. That's fine. Uh, so that's now get, got a bunch of them out. Love it. What we're we looking at now? Wars we can declare. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Till death do us part. Uh, Melisandre is dead? Oh no! My new top wife is uh, Kuman. Okay, so she's alright. Um, we can marry twice again. So let's do a couple of marriages. I'm gonna marry uh, Sam Than. I'm also gonna marry Ellery. Sure. Let's marry both of them. That sounds good. No issues here. First marriage. Second marriage. Nice. Um, how far away are we from this? Not too far. Uh, we lost a massive disease defense, but we do have a one year timer till death, so we know that we're not going to die within this year. It's good, which is fairly useful to know. Right. I'm just staying at peace for a little bit to give us a chance to actually, you know, uh, build up some income and, like, settle. Granddaughter Elizabeth. So this is our heir granddaughter. Okay. That's fine. Uh, she can have a child named Judith. Right. Wonderful. Uh, know thyself close to the end. Okay, so I'm going to die within a year. That's horrible news. Especially as our heir is 60. So is also likely to die. Like any moment now. Just drop dead. Uh, which would also be horrible. What have we got here? Declare wars? No. I think we just stay at peace. I mean, there's nothing we can do. Like, we might as well just stay at peace. Uh, our counselor died. Okay. He's been replaced by somebody who is slightly better at the job. Um, yeah, sure. That's fine. No issues here. Um, we have yes another child. He can be called Themo. Sure. I know it's the uh, it's the leading character's name, but that's all right. We got some witchcrafty stuff happening. You're left with no other option. I must rescind your chan your appointment as chancellor. But you just gave me all this land. I mean, we are about to die. That's fine. Um, we have a daughter named Clara. Okay, yet another daughter for us. The uh, 14th sibling. <laughs> Seems uh, like a good idea. I probably should have taken a note of what day we were going to die. But that's okay. There are th few things I enjoy more than Count Arnold's company. He encouraged me to throw plates and scream into pillows. And after the emotional storm died down, I actually f did feel better. After this short break, I was once again ready to take on my duties. I'm lucky to have a friend like Count Arnold. Fantastic. We lost a little bit of stress. Well, that's good. We don't want to be stressed when we die. So, you know, that's good. Um, greetings, my perceptive liege. Peace be with you. I've uh, been a good vassal to you, but surely you understand that I have subjects of my own too. My current contract is very restrictive. Surely we'd see you with the wisdom and make it more lenient. And besides, you do owe me. What does he want? No contribution for feudal levies. Alright, sure. Whatever. No problem here. Um, my sister died of old age. I gained some stress. We're about to die. Any second now. Empress Martina has just been attacked. Okay. Well, we'll continue chilling. And now we're dead. Right. King Themo the First. I guess because we are the first king. Um, rests in the arms of the Lord at 79 years of age. He died of old age. A hollowed shell of his former self. He had long lost his wits by the time of his final passing. King Themo ascends to the throne, blessed with an abundance of friends. Oh, that's nice. Themo is likely to find strong support for his rule. So, what we're we looking at here. Died of old age. Was the cultural head. Had a high level of fame. Was a paragon of virtue. Had whole body finished. And... 17 offensive wars, 6 defensive. Our son, cultural head, distinguished and dutiful. We have lost some titles. We lost to Beringer of Bavaria, uh, Regensburg and Burgau. Wait, was Regensburg not the capital one that I was building up? Okay, whatever. whatever. Uh, and then here we lost Frontenhausen and Innsbruck. So we got to keep... Um, Falkenstein and Pasal. I should have given away Pasal because it's not as good, but that's okay. Uh, so that explains why we have significantly less troops available to us. So significantly less troops. Ah. Okay. 
Well, what's the dangerous faction? We don't have one. Good, good. Uh, right. Uh, we have no lifestyle. We have no council. Okay. Well, I think that this is a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.